Okay, hi guys. Um, now this is a. Uh, I'm just trying to find the best place for the camera. This is a. Um, this is one of these little like mini oscilloscopes, little DSOs. Um, this is a DSO one three eight. Now I've built a few of these, about eleven, eleven or twelve of them. Um, the difference is with this one. And I never thought really to make a video before of doing it. And it is quite a long drawn out one anyway, because there's quite a few. There's quite a big old bundle of components here for these boards. But the difference is with this one. This is the new model. This one um, claims to have better noise uh, or less noise on the signal. Um, it's updated firmware. And also, this one you solder the SMD parts. There's an IC in here which needs to go here, and there's the SMD uh, resistors that need to go on. So, pretty much everything else seems about the same. These little feet, and yeah, everything else seems pretty much the same. It, it almost looks like the the quality of the LCD screen has improved. In actual fact, I've got some, some spare old from the old uh, from the older model. Well, I mean, the older model is okay, but don't get me wrong; these are not real oscilloscopes. I mean, they're basic, very basic functioning, and but they're not like a you know, they're, not, they're not like a high quality one. No, I don't know if you can see there's a slight difference in shading. Uh, if I turn that the same way round, there's a slight difference in shading. Um, does that screen look slightly bigger? It does. It looks slightly bigger. No bigger in width but bigger in length not by much we're only talking maybe four mil but slightly bigger the board itself is the same size they both say they're 2.4 inch uh, T TFT LCD screens but they are different models or from what I can see there underneath this flap that says 13700 oh it's just the part number this one says 13700 as well so so there's no real there's no difference there it's just my imagination and yeah even though the, the actual screen itself does look slightly bigger yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go by that. That is slightly bigger. Maybe it's the encasement is slightly bigger or whatever. There is a slight difference in that. And I think this uh, this red looks a bit nicer than the orange. The more orange colour. So, anyway. Uh, yeah. So I've never done SMD before. I have got some kits in my drawer back there of future kits to put together um, and they've got some SMD parts in there I'm just trying to see what else we got so there's a little I think that's the voltage regulator it's SMD uh, you got this IC here that's SMD um, I just hope now that some of the videos I've been watching um, tutorials on SMD work I hope I was paying attention because I'm about to put it into practice now I will put a couple of these things on in like real time on the video but I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna bore anybody with the whole 
thing being in real time and to be fair I've got a couple of videos that I want to watch um, about tubes Uncle Doug on YouTube absolutely fantastic um, and I want to have that on in the background while I'm doing this um, but that's not how I'm actually going to watch those videos I just want it to be able to um, be on in the background there's one way again inside my head while I'm concentrating and I will watch it with um, great um, uh, you know using all my concentration mm. so yeah I'm gonna go and put the kettle and make myself a cup of tea I can hardly see these even through this magnifying glass that I'm looking through <laughs> I can hardly see these and so I just hope um, I just hope that you know I've picked up enough watching the videos um, TX Bench uh, I've watched his video on SMD. I've watched. I've watched a few actually um, uh, on SMD. So we'll have to see if I was paying attention or not. Before, when I've been doing these, it's always been these little capacitors that have been the struggle um, because I will insist on checking all the components as it says per the instructions of um, assembling these boards that you want to check everything all your resistors everything so today is going to be a, rock, a real good learning curve for me because I've got to check these components before I put them on according to the instructions you can't check the ICs unless you've got some you know the, the correct equipment which I don't have for doing that um, but to be fair in practice I don't check everything I really can't be bothered I just take it as everything's going to be there and if it is missing the capacitor fortunately I've got lots of spares now because like I said I've done these uh, 11 or 12 of these but not this is the new model I, ha I had a break for a little while um, because I got upset with the person who was selling them to me because they started selling them assembled competing against me and so I didn't want to play with them anymore and I had to wait until I found somebody else at a good price but I didn't realise I was going to get a load of SMD and now I don't get it at any cheaper price than what I was getting before I just get a lot more work because I've got to get all these on before it used to be all these were pre-put on and I only had this to do and now I've got to do this and these And I bought a bunch of them. <laughs> so, there we go. DSO138. SMD work got to be carried out by me. Virginity to be broken on SMD. And if I manage to do these and I'm happy with it, I can crack on and do the other kits that I've got. Because the only reason I haven't done them is because I'm scared to do these. But now I've got no choice but to do these unless I want to sit with a cupboard full of them and we're never doing anything with them. So this is where I practice, this is this is where I'm gonna learn through you know getting it right or getting it wrong, you know, how to do it. But I've not been daft. Uh, you know, the last like month or so I have watched a couple of few videos on SMD, so I've picked up one or two things. And yeah. Like I said, we'll see if I was actually concentrating or not. See how much of a mess I make of this. Right, I'm going to go make me a cup of tea first though, so I'll see you in a minute. Uh, I thought just before I start, uh, I start doing this, I'll just give you a, a little look at the... Uh, now this is all new, I never used to get one of these. Um, yeah, I get this bit because this is the bit where you, you calibrate the probe and such. Um, which is, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I mean the whole kit is pretty straightforward, it's just quite a few bits to it. But this is all new. So, this is good though, because they've given a breakdown of each part um, 
of the circuit and the voltages so you can go through it bit by bit now fortunately I mean I say fortunately for me I've not had a single problem with any of these it's always been first time boot first time go very very happy but I have seen on YouTube a few people have had issues with these uh, so so this is good this is obviously a response to a lot of the issues people have had to give them places to be able to do some diagnosing on what the troubleshooting on what the, the problems are so that's great that that's new to me um, this is just basically uh, you know all your parts here's your resistors all the different resistors and where they go um, same for the chokes diodes you know pretty much self-explanatory there uh, the user manual it's everything is there there isn't anything missed out because um, I've had these before and again you've got some brief block troubleshooting here um, which is what I used to have before so this part's the new part uh, and it does cover everything I mean it's, um, it's been interesting to go through now this is the new part this is what you never used to get before as well and this is the SMD part list um, which it doesn't look too much you got 6, 3, oh, that's 9 Plus uh, four, four, 13, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Just 23 SMD parts to go on there. Uh, yeah, and that's the voltage regulator. That was a good guess, wasn't it? Um, yeah, there's three ICs, and I got three ICs. Have I got three ICs? One, two. Let me just I see we got L084 uh, TL084 and LM1117 and then STM32 F10. Now I think that might already be on here. I think that's this. STM32, yeah, that's already on there. So they've put that IC on. Oh, I hear both and solder as well as that because that's that is nice. That's, that's nice now. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, it's just uh, it's as you'd expect. You don't you wouldn't you wouldn't expect it to be. It's not a focus, is it? Honestly, this Microsoft camera, absolutely <coughs> life cam. That's what it is. Life cam HD. You can't focus it. It doesn't focus. At least for my other one. Why, why can't I use the other one? This went wrong with me using the other one. But at least then I get to focus on the front if necessary. I can twiddle it. <laughs> but on this one I can't twiddle anything. So yeah. Um, I was hoping that was going to be a list of the, the improvements. But I was actually looking on the website for that. No, I wonder if I still got it over there on the screen. If I can pull it over. There it is. Right, and I'll put it over here and I'll tell you what it says. It says the updates are.